Hey team, what's going on? It's Chris. Uh, wanted to send you a quick video about the, uh, the recent outbreak of COVID and how it's uh, impacting us as a campus ministry. Um, I know you've been hearing a lot about this virus and how it's sweeping the globe, and I'm sure you've seen a lot of stuff change in your local context. Um, and so I wanted to, uh, yeah, just share with you about how we as a campus team, how we as a partnership team are responding to this and what God is doing. And so um, just a couple of things that, that I wanted to say. First is God is still completely in control. Um, he is He's advancing his kingdom and he's able to take situations that the enemy has meant for evil and work them for good. And so that is, that's what we're believing is going to happen in this situation, that even though we are fully aware that uh, things are not looking great, uh, things are chaotic, there is real world problems, and uh, there are real world precautions that we need to take, uh, we recognize that and we say that God is still in control and that he's bringing good out of it. And so just a couple of updates about what's happening. Uh, first off, West LA College has joined the ranks of many schools across the nation and has closed uh, like in-person classes. They've moved to an online platform and even suspended classes for the next couple of weeks. So it's joined the ranks of many other schools going that way. Uh, and that means that in-person ministry on campus is not gonna be an option for the foreseeable future, whether that's for the next four weeks or for the rest of the semester. Uh, so here's what God is doing, though, in the middle of that. Before the COVID outbreak, Jesus had raised up student leaders in our ministry, and we've equipped them to lead God Talks. Uh, God Talks are things that I've talked about in the ministry newsletter, but basically what they are, they are small group discussion, um, small discussion groups aimed at asking big questions about life and about God, geared at pre-evangelism. So basically it's, it's softening somebody's heart to even have a gospel conversation and it's developing relationships with people so that they feel safe in having a gospel conversation. So that, that is the goal of our God Talks. Um, and we, we actually have these God Talks up and running. We're ministering to around 15 students through our God Talks. And these are students who are either not yet believers or they're disconnected Christians. So these, these God Talks really are reaching this target demographic of people who, who need the gospel and have never heard it or have never considered it uh, seriously. So we're going to continue doing these God Talks. We're going to continue doing our discipleship meetings and our leadership meetings, uh, but we're going to be leaning heavily on virtual platforms. Um, as the news keeps coming out more and more, I think we are realizing that more and more in-person stuff is going to be limited um, and unwise. So we're going to be doing a lot of virtual, uh, virtual stuff. But the kingdom is still advancing, even though it doesn't look traditional or like we might have expected. So here's what you all can do as ministry partners. The first thing is please continue partnering in whatever way God is putting on your heart. So if that's prayer, keep praying. If that's finances, please keep giving. If that's tangibly ministering to students, please keep doing that. And let's talk about how we can do that in a, in a wise, virtual manner moving forward. The other thing is pray for us as a campus team and Renew Church LA overall, our staff, uh, as we strategically think about what doing church and what doing the Great Commission looks like in the age of the coronavirus. Uh, and then lastly, please pray for the kingdom of God to still advance um, in, in the students of L.A. Uh, and my last, my last exhortation for you is continue to love well in the context where you are. Uh, yeah, I think that there's going to be mighty things that happen as the body of Christ, individual Christians even, living their lives in their daily spheres, walk in love and walk in peace. Uh, in the midst of so much chaos and panic. So please continue to love well around you and watch and see what God will do to bring the kingdom forward as you just stay faithful in those ways. So thank you so much for being ministry partners. Thank you so much for standing with us. I love you all. I'm grateful for you. I couldn't do this without you. And even though it's looking different now, God is still doing incredible things through us. So um, just wanted to uh, just wanted to say that if you have any questions, please reach out, uh, contact me. I would love to talk with you. But thank you so much, and God bless you.